Okay guys, in this video I will talk about what are the forces you need to consider when you are designing the foundation for any braced frame. Okay, and I am assuming that you already know what are bracing and how they actually carry the forces. Okay, and also what are the function of bracings. Okay, so in this video I will discuss what are the special forces that need to be considered when you are designing any foundation for any braced frame compared to non braced frame okay so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and also press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited okay so at the very first consider this particular uh, longitudinal frame of any pipe rack okay here you can see that we have used a braced frame at the middle of this rack okay and there are lots of vertical load that are coming to this frame okay and all of these particular loads has been placed on the longitudinal start okay and in association with this vertical load we also have some lateral load like this got it okay now what are the effect of the vertical load as well as the lateral load of course the vertical load will create some vertical reaction as you can see here okay and comp uh, we are assuming that this vertical external load are more or less equal to all span okay so we can assume that reactions are also more or less similar to all the support okay now consider that the lateral load which are being applied over this frame okay so now how these lateral loads are actually going to be transferred of course here you can see that if you consider just this load it goes to this point okay then it comes to this bracing from this strut then this bracing to this strut and finally goes to this foundation okay so you can you can uh, check this one for each and every load just consider this one so for this load it directly goes to this point then from here to this one okay this is the shortest path and now let's say you have some another lateral load which is acting in this direction in this case it will go to this point then this one then this one to this foundation okay so for lateral load we will have a reaction like this got it now what are the component of this inclined reaction of course due to this inclined reaction we will have some horizontal component as well as some vertical component okay the same is also applicable for another bracing too okay now compare the vertical load condition and the lateral load con condition simultaneously okay so here you can see that uh, for this non braced column here you can see for this non braced column we have only vertical reaction okay there is no such reaction for lateral load in this non braced column but for this braced column here you can see we have vertical reaction for this vertical load external load we have some vertical reaction as well as horizontal reaction due to this lateral loads okay so of course this two particular column demands a heavier foundation agree and not only that you need to uh, consider this lateral load in the form of shear force okay to design the foundation okay so now let's say we are using simply file foundation okay so for this column this column this column and also for this one this one and this one it is sufficient to provide the pile which is capable to carry this vertical reaction only okay but here we have to provide the pile so that it can cater this shear also okay so finally if we look at the support we can see that these are the pile foundation for non braced column okay but for this particular two column we need to use some heavier foundation something like this one okay so that's it if you like this video don't forget to share it and also don't forget to give a thumbs up